Hi, I'm Marion Keyes and this is my new book, The Break, and it's out on the 7th of September and I'm just going to read something for you from the first chapter. Myself and Hugh, I say, we're taking a break. A city with fancy food, sort of a break, more and narrows her eyes. Or a Rihanna, sort of a break. Well, she presses her case, is it the city with fancy food break? No, it's the Rihanna kind. You've got to be joking me because Rihanna is what, 22 and you're not 22. It's imperative to shut her down before she utters my age. I don't know how I got to be 44. Clearly I'd my eye off the ball, but a bit late to the party, I'm trying to airbrush away all references to it. It's not just the fear of dying and worse, the fear of becoming jowly. It's because I work in PR, a dynamic, youthful sector, which does not value the less young amongst us. I have bills to pay. I'm simply being practical here. So I avoid any stating of my age, like ever, in the hope that if no one ever says it, no one will know about it, and I can stay age-free until the end of time. My one regret is that I didn't adopt this attitude when I was 27, but I knew nothing when I was 27. I'm your sister, Maura says. I'm seven years older than you, so if I'm 51, of course, I say very, very quickly, talking over her to shut her up. Of course, of course, of course. Maura has never worried about getting old. For as long as I can remember, she's been ancient, more like Pop's twin sister than his eldest child. So it's a break where you can go off. Where? Southeast Asia. Seriously? And then what? He'll come back. And what if he doesn't? It was the worst idea ever to admit my news to Maura, but she has a knack for getting the truth out of people. We call her the water border. She can always smell a story. She's known something has been up with me for the past five days. I thought I'd be okay if I kept ducking her calls, but clearly I have a strong delusional streak because it was only a matter of time before she showed up at my work and refused to leave until she knew everything. Look, nothing is definite, I try. He might not go, because he might not. You can't let him, she announces. Just tell him he can't and let that be an end to it. If only it was that simple. She hadn't read Hugh's letter, so she didn't know the torment he was in. Letting him leave was my best chance of saving my marriage, probably. Is it to do with his dad dying? I nod. Hugh's dad died 11 months ago, and Hugh had shut down. I thought that if enough time passed, he'd be okay. But he isn't. He's the opposite of okay. She's getting worked up. This effing family. When will the drama stop? It's like playing whack-a-mole. Maura's rages are familiar, and they no longer have the power to utterly terrify me. No sooner is one of you towing the line than another of you blows your life up. Why are you all such disasters? She means me and my siblings, and actually we aren't. Well, no more than any other family, which is to say quite a lot, but so is everyone else's, so we're fairly normal, really. It must be my fault, she declares. Was I a bad role model? Yes, I say. In actual fact, she was the least bad role model that ever lived, but she's upset me. Surely, all things considered, I'm deserving of sympathy. You're so cruel, she says. You try being a little girl, she means herself whose mum is in hospital for months on end with tuberculosis at a time when tuberculosis wasn't even a thing, when it was years out of date. A little girl who has four younger brothers and sisters who won't stop crying and a big cold house which is falling to bits and a dad who can't cope. Yes, I have an overdeveloped sense of responsibility, but I know the speech and could do a word-perfect recitation, but closing her down when she's in full flow is next to impossible. My siblings and I like to joke that her husband, TPB, the poor bastard, developed spontaneous mutism shortly after their wedding and that no one has heard him speak for the past 21 years. We insist that the last words he'd ever been heard saying in tones of great doubt were, I do. What's going on? I ask, baffled by her antipathy. I haven't done anything wrong. Yet, she says, yet. What are you saying? She seems surprised. If your husband is on a break from your marriage, she does the quotation marks with her fingers. Then aren't you, more quotation marks, on a break, too? It takes a few moments for her words to sink in. Then to my great surprise, something stirs in me, something hopeful, that after the last five horrible days, feels like the sweetest relief. In a small recess of my soul, a tiny pilot light sparks into life, 
Slowly, I say. Seen as you put it like that. Well, I suppose I am. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed that.